welcome to my java video series in this series we'll talk about how to connect the database from mysql with the help of netbeans in last example we have done connectivity through the command prompt approach and this time we'll use some id tool for this purpose so let me open this netbeans here just a minute is taking some time wait for a moment okay now it's ready so close my old project here just close so I'm going to close my previous projects now create a new project here so create a simple Java project here so this is my simple java project i call it this is jdbc application save this inside work directory and it is creating a main class no problem i have a main class already so let me copy paste that program same example i'm going to use here so this is work directory and uh, we recently created test db in previous example in previous video we created this class test db and copy paste that class here okay we have got a class here this is the same program and uh, there is nothing to change so the same program we can use here so here we have five steps open the con uh, collect the information load the driver open the connection and create a statement and execute query then at last close the connection and statement so these are the five steps we have seen so now I'm going to run the same program look at the same program I can run from the NetBeans run this taking some time look at this we have got an error here driver uh, class not found exception so this is the error what is the error this JDBC driver is missing because this mysql uh, class mysql driver is not available in your class path so when you run a program this file is not available this is not found not searched by the java tool so you need to tell the location of this file so from the command line when we when we run the, uh, when we run this program from the command line we set here class path but this time this time we do not have command prompt and without command prompt I can tell the location of this driver from this library look at this NetBeans has different different technique to add the library so go to this library and right click here add jar and tell the location of the jar where is the jar available so in e drive you will see this file so you can add this file here so look at the driver added in your project okay this is the driver it is added here this is the driver this is the driver available here now you can see here com.mysql.jdbc.driver this is what the class we are looking for and we have got similar error here look at this inside this output window this is what the class we required com.mysql.jdbc.driver and here it is available means now things are all set in class path I'm going to fold this okay and now run this this program can work again so no need to change anything the only thing you need to do here is add your driver in a library of your project so you can add library here with the help of this right click and add folders so we have already done this and rest will be same check this data here could you see the data inserted from your program select okay look at this this fifth record I recently inserted so initially there was four records look at this there was four records initially and we added here one more record so this is how you could uh, run the program from NetBeans one more thing I can advise you if you want to add suppose I'm going to remove this library remove this and I can add this driver from NetBeans set of libraries so this time I'm going to use here add library so NetBeans has inbuilt set of libraries and I can select MySQL driver from this list so these are the inbuilt libraries present in NetBeans 
and I can use here MySQL JDBC driver and add this so it is doing the same job so this is another way so in previous case I added my library my jar file uh, with the project and this time I'm taking this jar file from the NetBeans library set so it will do the same job there is no change it works just like the previous case look at this you can see your output and check the data here go to the terminal and you will get here sixth record added here so this is your sixth record added uh, recently so this is the procedure to uh, do the database connectivity operation from the command line so I have one more option here to simplify this so let me simplify this job so I can make it little easier so just copy paste here copy this class here copy this and paste in this default package and refactor so I'm going to change the name here simple simple connectivity so I can make it little easier so how to make it simple so let me simplify the job I can directly put here a uh, class name I can directly put the class name here so not required now take this URL I can directly copy paste this URL here and instead of three arguments I can make it single argument so I'm going to use a single argument here put a question mark here and write here user equals to root and m person separator of parameter separator and uh, name of the parameter and this is password equals to mysql so this is how you can set the details so all these details I can set from so now the connection is ready these two lines will be sufficient and now after that you have to create a statement here and execute the query and at last you have to close the resources so this is how you could simplify this job so again try this you can run this program yes there is no problem and you can check the output here you will get you will get here seventh record so this is your seventh record we inserted from the program so in this case I have directly used here driver class and URL and look at this important URL you have simplified this URL you you passed here username and password along with the URL so I can make it more easier even this is not required because default port will be 3306 so now try this you will get here one more record inserted into database so go to the MySQL prompt and eighth record you have recently inserted so this is how you can see so this is the way you can work with the database server and uh, this is I think enough for uh, this discussion in next video we'll talk about some more operations on the database and some advanced features to communicate to the database server so thank you very much for watching